First question is from Neam's Fit. How can I get more definition in my arms? I feel like my arms are just pure mass with no tricep or bicep definition. Yeah, you, you got to just get leaner. You know, there's two parts to this. because Arm blobs. Yes, if you get leaner, no matter what, you're going to have definition. But if you have muscle underneath that body fat, then you don't have to get as lean to see uh, as much definition. So it is two-part. The whole myth of spot reduction is just that. It's a myth. So you can't choose to burn body fat from an area and then just train that area. I don't care. I know people are like, oh, there's one study that showed maybe, okay, if there is an effect, it's so negligible, it's not true. Also, there's other studies that show that doesn't work. So don't waste your time with that. But you can get leaner overall. That's what gives you definition. And then if you develop the muscle underneath, you don't have to get as lean to look like you have definition because there's muscle there and it gives you shape. There's not much really to add to that. I mean, I that's, that is the answer to this. And I, I think the thing that keeps uh, or kept me when I was younger from doing that was I had the, the skinny guy complex. And so the thought of leaning out or losing weight or getting smaller just terrified me. Yeah. Uh, and so I would probably ask questions just like this. Like, you know, I, I do, I want to, I, obviously I want to get bigger everywhere, but specifically, can I get my arms more defined or more cut looking? And be like, get leaner, like, no. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what? Lean out, lose muscle, go on a diet? Like, that sounds so scary to me. But, you know, if you haven't really done that, like, get shredded. I mean, this is why I think there's like tremendous value in taking yourself to a body fat percentage that you've never been to before because you learn so many things. But, and this is one of these things yeah. that you'll learn. You'll go through mm -hmm. it and you'll be like, Oh shit! This is the look. Better know what you're working with. Yeah, you know, and, and to peel down to, you know, body fat percentage where it does reveal like what kind of actual muscle mass you have, where you need to maybe place your focuses on. Like maybe it's your shoulders you need to develop more. Maybe it's you know the triceps need more emphasis. But you know, to be able to even see those lines, I think is the first step. I yeah. do want. I do want to add this that I th and, and I don't know if there's this is just um, a correlation between the timing when this happened in my life or not. But you know, we've talked before on the show about um, how like lifting heavy gives you that kind of granite look. Yeah, like dense muscle. I noticed that because um, I, I didn't. I was very like the first like I don't know maybe eight to ten years. Tricep, maybe maybe the heaviest loaded kind of tricep exercise I did was like a skull crusher. Everything else was cable push downs, rope things, mm -hmm. and like machines like crazy. I really didn't do a lot of dips. I didn't do any in close close grip bench press. Um, when I introduced those into my training, my arms blew up. And then I also noticed that they, they just maintain a size. Like yeah. I, even when I haven't lifted my arms in weeks, I still have those, the tricep lines when I see from the side of my body, I didn't have that in the first like 10 years of lifting. And I was training very hard and consistently. And so I attribute that to those types of lifts that put on more mass to my arms. Totally. I, I had to say, I had a yeah. really crazy experience with my midsection. So I, um, you know, like you, Adam, I was ectomorphish, right? So I, I just kind of always lean and I would try to bulk to gain. And at one point I said, okay, I want to try and see if I can get like a nice six pack, right? I was going to go to uh, Italy for the summer. And so I got my body fat down to 10%, which is for most people will have a six pack. Now in the mirror, if I really flexed, I could kind of see it. But if I was relaxed, I couldn't see it. So I'm like, oh, I want a six pack while I'm relaxed. I had to get my body fat all the way down to, I think it was like 7% for that to happen, which is really hard and really low uh, for most people, definitely for me. Now, later on, I started to realize that the abs and the core muscles were just like any other muscle. And the way I trained them before was like the, you know, what you, what you, what you read in the bodybuilding magazines, right? Which is like, oh, core, abs, high reps, right? Lots of reps, no rest periods. That'll make them look better, more sculpted. I'm like, well, they're a muscle, if I want to build them, I should train them like I would if I wanted to build my shoulders or my legs or any other muscle group. So I started training them with higher tension, more resistance, lower repetition. So now I'm doing eight to 12 reps, higher tension. So like decline sit-ups and Roman chair sit-ups and, you know, flag, what are they called? Dragon flag exercises. And I started to build the muscles of my core. Now, as they built, I started to have a six pack that was visible without flexing at 10% yeah. body fat. Yeah. You know, because the muscles were bigger and more visible. So building muscle also increases that, that I guess, that the look of def definition. Less muscle means you got to get way leaner, in my opinion, to look like, like, if, like my arms are going to look leaner at a higher body fat percentage than somebody who doesn't have much muscle on their arms at a lower body fat percentage, just more muscle there. So there's two parts to that, right? Build the muscle, 
but you also got to get leaner. So my my generic specific advice I would give this person is that okay, get leaner than you've ever been in your life, so it reveals where you're currently at. Then when you go back into a bulk, make sure you're doing things like dips, close grip bench, uh, supinated pull ups for your arms. Yep. Do these exercises that are going to build mass on your arms and train them that way. Train mm -hmm. like if you've never done it, maybe you're somebody who trains higher reps and the and chasing the pump like I was. Do some good strength building exercises for the arms on your bulk on the way up, and, and hopefully that makes a difference. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.